The ancient name for these structures is Trilithon. I asked a Viking once what she thought they were for. She didn't know. She said they'd just always been there. The Vikings have always warred with themselves much more than with us. It is in their nature to feast on each other. That nature has been stolen from them. Spurngar. The Vikings are so very careful to equitably distribute their food supplies. It all passes through Svenka. And in winter, most of it is stored there. We knew at Svengard that within a day, Viking ships would fill the harbor and their army would destroy us. But I intended to be long gone before that could happen. We dragged our ram's machinery across Falkenheim. We had to hack down half a forest in a fortnight to build it. But without it, we would have come all that way just to be slain at the front door. We could have broken open that gate with a far smaller ram. But that would have taken time time that the Vikings would have used to reinforce. I am Apollyon. I have come to instruct. For too long, the fearful prey among the Vikings have whispered their lies of peace. Now, that era ends. The fortress of Svengard was home to many of the wealthiest Viking clans. The merchant trades always produce such people. Now they would have to fight for their food. The legendary Jarl, Gudmunder. In another time, he would have been a king. Beloved by his people. The fiercest of warriors. Whoever faced him would either become another notch in that belt of his, or become legend. We would leave survivors to tell the tale of what had been lost at Svernga. And when they heard, they would come looking for what was left.